Okay, the next step is to make a line that echoes about a lot thinner than your pinky, maybe thinner than your pencil, so it creates a shape. And then watch, I'm going to do the t all the tops. So I start at this line and I echo it. Not real thick, is it? Thinner than a pencil. All the way down. All right, now that I did all the tops, thinner than a pencil, now I'm going to do the bottom. So I'm going to start here and echo it. Repeat it, parallel. Slight. Okay, now comes the tricky part. So this guy, and I'm not wanting you to draw this, but it is going to curve up and meet this guy. But the trick is it's got to go under. So we want it to stop before it crosses the line. Stop! Stop! Don't cross over. So this end is going to meet this end and connect, but do not cross the line. Stop so that it appears to go under. Here's another one. So as it curves up, it should join this guy. As it curves up, it should not randomly hit that line above it. It should hit it where it looks like it connects to this guy. And then on the last one, I'm just going to... He doesn't have a friend, but I can make him a friend by bringing him down here. Ta-da! And then... I need to connect this to this, but I do not want to cross a line, never cross a line. Always stop short of the line so it curves down. So this guy is going to meet this guy. Please don't make your dots like I just made the dot. I'm just making the dot so you can see. And draw down so that it looks like it goes under. Notice I did not cross over. I stopped short so it looks like it went under. Now I'm going to purposely make a mistake here that some people do. They just randomly draw down. Well, excuse me. Hello. This would not meet this. So don't just randomly draw down. Think about meeting this guy, meeting up with this guy. See those dots? Don't draw the dots, but those are the ones I'm looking to connect. And don't cross a line. Always stop short of the line. We never cross over on this, this particular texture. You always stop short of the line. And so this guy is going to meet up with this guy. Do not draw those dots, please. I'm just making those dots so that you can see what needs to connect. Do not cross the line. Stop short. Got one more to do. Now, what am I going to do with the tail over here? I don't know. I can just loop back. Or I could tie it into another... I don't know. I'm going to just do a little spiral. I don't know where it's going to go. There you go. Bye-bye. All right. So now the shading. Wherever something goes under something, just like a lot of the other textures, there should be some shadow where it goes under. So here's another one. Where it goes under, there should be some shadow on the one that goes under. This is going over, so there's no shadow there. It's where it goes under. Where it goes under, there should be shadows. So I go dark to light gradually. So here's where it goes under, and I'm going to start dark, but then I'm going to a little less pressure, a little less pressure, and fade out dark. Because it goes under, dark, because it goes under, but it gets gradually lighter so that it looks like it goes under. 
Well, it stopped kind of short right there. See, I went dark and stopped short. Well, I need the light to kind of fade it out. All right, so do I shade here? No, because it's on top. I shade here, going up next to the one that goes above it. So I shade next to the one that goes above it, but I shade on the one that goes, the one that goes under. So this is where I'm going to shade. Shade where it goes under. Now, if you have a big empty space here, you might want to consider making your initial V's a little smaller. Because what I'm going to ask you to do is to make an interesting design in here or, you know, throw in like another pattern if you have too big of an opening or try to figure out something dimensional to put in there and not just random squiggly sloppy stuff. This is no good. So I suggest you practice making it a little smaller. Do your first one larger, but then do them smaller so you don't have to come up with any sort of interesting um, repeated pattern. Uh, but here's one that you can do. These little seashells kind of echoing the shape. And then they need shading too. So if you don't want to do this part, then um, you should probably make your initial uh, zigzag smaller. See how that's smaller than my finger? And that way, it'll look more like these smaller guys right here. And there's not that much empty space. Because it may be even a little smaller. Look how small this guy got. Look at these small guys. So smaller is better for this particular pattern, or else you have to do something creative on the inside. It's not bad to do the fishbone texture large to start, but then I would practice making it smaller so that you don't have to create this interesting design here. And then this is your T-chain. In case you were wondering, you can look up T-chain. Um, these are the windows, but you can start to see how things get fit together.